Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney's Magic Kingdom. It is officially the first day. We no longer need to wear masks indoors or outdoors. So we're finally gonna be able to ride a Disney ride without a mask on. I am so excited. Let's go do this. The only place that you're still required to wear your mask is on most of the transportation here at Walt Disney World, so monorails and Skyliners. Today, I took the ferry boat over because that's one of the actual transportations you don't need to wear your mask. I am so excited to finally be able to ride a Disney ride without a mask on. Now, of course, we've been riding without mask on at Universal and SeaWorld and Hershey Park even, but today's the first official day and nothing's like a Disney ride. I mean, it's like its own entity. They don't need to be thrilling. They don't need to be fast. It's just the, the feeling. Do you know what I mean? So I can't wait to actually enjoy some rides today. This has to be the most crowdedest Main Street USA I have seen in a year. Wow, things are really getting back to normal here. Mask and crowds, this is amazing. I can't even believe it right now. I've never been so excited to see this many people here, but it's just so awesome that people are coming out. It's time. Also, Disney just announced today that fireworks are coming back July 1st. I am so excited. Happily Ever After and then Epcot Forever is going to come back so we can actually say goodbye to Epcot Forever before it changes into Epcot's Harmonious. Also, Jackie <laughs> Super Deuce is with me. Yeah, what are we riding first? Are we going to like, are we planning this out? Seven Doors Mine Train. I mean, we might as well try to get Seven Doors Mine Train done. It looks like it's been a very rough day here with lightning and thunder. So I want to actually ride an outdoor roller coaster without a mask on. And in case it actually starts lightning again, they might close it for a weather delay. I can see some lightning in the area. So Seven Doors Mine Train might be down already, but we're going to go over and scoop it out first and make sure. But I would like to start off like a great day on Seven Doors Mine Train. If it doesn't happen, there's still many amazing rides at the Magic Kingdom. It looks like it is down now because of weather. So I'm not too sure if we're going to wait it out because if we do wait it out and it opens back up, we can literally just walk on the ride. They're not letting anyone else in. And I think they dumped the queue. That would be a success. Now I'm seeking shelter in the Winnie the Pooh gift shop because uh, it is pouring out. So uh, I don't think Seven Doors Mine Train is going to open up again anytime soon. So I think we're going to try to maybe get an indoor activity done. Or an indoor activity. This is so funny. An indoor attraction. And then we'll see if we can come back a little bit later. I do want to ride like an outside roller coaster though. It looks like the teacups is the place we're going. Holy moly! What a day to be back to normal! What a day to be alive! <laughs> it's alive! <laughs> and it only gets worse. <laughs> Give it up to that guy right there. That guy was a very cool. At least I can say my first official ride without a mask on at Disney World is an opening day attraction. So that makes me a little bit more happier. <laughs> A little rain's not gonna bring us down. Hi, friends! <laughs> I am definitely not a big spinner. Yeah, so nice and casual. Yep, nice and casual. Not too fast. That's the way. All right, we're gonna pick it up a little bit. Just a little bit, that's it, that's it. I'm happy with that. Look at those guys over there, they're going hardcore. <laughs> I feel so free. <laughs> I'm gonna spin a little bit more. I gotta give it just a little bit. Oh! <laughs> oh! Get him! There he is. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. At least we got to ride a ride, but everything is still closed. Even mine train is still closed. Uh, I think maybe they might open up. The rain went away, but if there's lightning in the area, all outdoor rides are gonna be closed. Look at it just sitting there waiting, waiting to take all of these amazing people on a wonderful journey through the woods and into a mine. <laughs> Now I think we'll just keep navigating around the park. 
kind of see what has a low wait time. All the rides outdoors, like I said, are closed. So everyone that was waiting in line for like those e-ticket attractions are now in the other lines, which make everything a long wait. But we'll find something good. As you can see, the rain has a really big effect on the wait times. This is Haunted Mansion right now. This is just really a lot because they actually took away the socially distant queue that used to go down through the Liberty Bell. So now it's kind of just all like coming out. It's, 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 it's a very long wait. <laughs> 60 minute wait to be accurate. That is a long, long time for the Haunted Mansion. So, yeah, right? It's ghastly. Ghoulish. It's ghoulishly long. You'd be foolish to get in that Foolish. Line. We'd be foolishly, ghoulishly to be getting into that line. Instead, I think we're gonna go down and check in the Country Bear Jamboree. Looks like we made it just in time. The rain is starting again. <laughs> It's also really cool that you can sit down and watch different shows now without wearing a mask as well. So like it's just it's great to be here in general. I'm very excited. Even this rain isn't killing my spirits. I'm running around happy-go-lucky. I don't even have an umbrella. I should have brought an umbrella especially because I knew it was gonna rain today. It definitely got very crowded in here though. You can see a lot of people are very excited to get out of the rain. I'm excited to watch the Country Bear Jamboree. <laughs> Looks like we got a sold out show here, folks. Completely booked. Not an empty seat in the house today. Hey, Henry, what's more now? Let's get on with the show. Our boss, Big Patient. Yeah, we ain't going anywhere anyhow. <laughs> Have you ever seen it this crowded in here? Yeah. <laughs> that was so awesome to see a fully packed Country Bear Jamboree. I mean, honestly, I love that show. I really would come here regardless of getting out of the rain or not, but today it was a combination of getting out of the rain and also all of the cool fans because I felt like there was a lot of people in there that was really getting into it. They were slapping their knees and they were singing along and that makes me feel happy. But anyway, since most of the rides are still closed because of weather, it's uh, not raining anymore, but there is lightning in the area. I think we're going to go sit down and have a dinner or a meal and that way by the time we get done eating, maybe all the rides would open back up and a lot of people might have gone home it's always important to wait out any rainstorms because a lot of people end up just going home for the day they get soaking wet tired and they're just like i've had enough so if you wait it out and the rain goes away all the rides become walk-ons so we're gonna get something to eat until they open back up and hopefully we're gonna have a lot of fun afterwards and for lunch today, we're going to one of my favorite places recently. And I haven't been back here since actually it first opened, since the opening day that it actually reopened. And now I get to go back and enjoy some more. We are going to the Crystal Palace. I have not been here since it first reopened. And then the last time I was here before that was the last time I was at Magic Kingdom before the park closed down. So I always feel like this is a place for me to always remember because when I found out Disney was closing because of everything that was going on, I was sitting right at that table in there. And it was one of the saddest moments because some of the cast members knew, but some of them didn't. And like Eeyore was trying to tell me. It was uh, character dining at that time but Eeyore was trying to tell me the parks are closing so I'll put that video in the link below so if you can check it out it was such an amazing day and now we don't need to wear our mask is whenever we actually walk in so look at that how cool I love how beautiful it is in here 
<laughs> and they actually have a full house it looks like like we're lucky we got reservations today the Crystal Palace is an all-you-care-to-enjoy experience, but it's a little bit different because you're picking an entree, and they have a selection of different entrees, and it's all-you-care-to-enjoy that entree. So if you get prime rib, you get another order of prime rib. If you get chicken, you get more chicken. And I like it. It's actually really fun, and honestly, I'm not excited to see buffets come back. I like the way that they're doing this with like family style and entrees. I would be happy keeping it that way. I just wish all of the food that they had before would come back because that's the big thing. Here are your entrees to choose from. Crispy fried chicken, brown sugar glazed bone in pork chop, fire roasted prime rib of beef, blackened catfish and shrimp, and southern fried cauliflower. These are all pretty amazing. I really love the rib of beef, but I wanted to try something different, but I don't know if I want to do that because I really love the beef and that's what I had last time. So decisions are gonna to need to be made. Another really awesome thing is you can get alcohol in here. You can get Michelob Vulture, Blue Moon, Bud Light, and even a nice house-made sangria. So of course we're gonna grab ourselves a nice drink before we head back out to Magic Kingdom. You gotta do it when you're here, I feel like. It's so much, it's like I feel so good. I can't wait to go to Disneyland and have a drink at the Blue Bayou though. That's gonna be so awesome. Cheers. <laughs> The salad and appetizers are all served family style, and you can just keep on getting as many as you want as those as well. But they have cornbread, bacon cheddar cornbread, and then this nice candied pecan salad. This is so good because look at those pecans. Ooh, they look good. All good. The cornbread is pretty delicious. I really do like it. I think I'm gonna try the jam though. Yeah. Normally I don't put jam on my cornbread. Is that a thing? Like I don't put butter on cornbread either. I, do you? Wow. I might just be weird. I just kind of like the taste of plain cornbread. If that was Texas Roadhouse butter, I definitely would be putting it on my cornbread. Oh, a fancy knife. Thank you. <laughs> I think you guys know what I'm talking about with the Texas Roadhouse butter. I mean, <laughs> that is it for me right there. In the meantime, I'm going to try this jam. A little bit of a pepper jam, so I hope it's not too spicy, but we'll find out. Mm. You would think the jam would be a little bit more on the sweeter side, but it's definitely savory. Like you can tell, well, it's made from peppers. So when you're adding that on the cornbread, kind of makes it like a jalapeno cornbread, yeah. right? Yeah, what, I can't, like, what is that taste? Mmm, it's tough. Like zing zing sauce. Like zing zing, yeah. Zing zing. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I just made that word up. I don't know what I mean. Zing. Exactly <laughs> like, I know it's like a zing like, zing yeah, sauce. Zing, zing. Yeah. <laughs> I decided on going with something different than the prime rib. You know, I, I wanted the prime rib. I, I think it's absolutely amazing, but sometimes you need to switch it up a little bit. So I ended up getting the bone-in pork chop. Look at this. Crispy onions, apple vinaigrette, broccolini, and a sweet potato. This is gonna be actually pretty good, I think. Oh, they actually have candy pecans on there. The same ones that were on the salad. Jackie ended up getting the prime rib. So this now at least I get to like see you eat it. Yeah. And I'll be like, oh, if this isn't good, at least I can like kind of <laughs> peek over. I can have a bite? Yeah. yeah. I think I'm gonna like this bone-in pork chop, depending on how easy the pork chop is to cut. And I like the apple vinaigrette because usually I get applesauce with my pork chops. Does anybody else do that? I can... I'm gonna just cut right in here. Oh wow, that cuts actually really easily for a pork chop. I like it. Alright, I got a nice little good piece here with a lot of that apple vinaigrette on it. I'm gonna give it a go. This is so good and I can't wait to drive into this sweet potato. Look at that. A whole sweet potato. Excellent. Now we'll do a little bit of both. And I think I'm excited for the sweet potato most. Even though I really do love the pork chop, I think I like the prime rib more. Honestly. This is the dish. I like I, this better than what I got last time too, the chicken. Ah, so prime rib is king. Yeah. 
Now we are all finished with dinner. It's time for coffee and desserts. All included in this meal is the beverages, the desserts, the entree, the appetizers, all for one price. I think it's $39 a person. So we ended up getting a coffee. That's a good way to like kind of cap off your visit and also enjoy the d desserts that they give you because they're phenomenal. And they're all based off Winnie the Pooh characters. So you got Winnie the Pooh right here, of course, with the honey pot. Tigger, I think that would be Rabbit. Maybe I'm wrong. And then this is a peach cobbler, so I guess Piglet? I don't know. <laughs> That's the only reason why. Piglet, and, and I think Piglet's like a peach color, isn't it? Or a pink, or but that doesn't make owl? sense. Oh, maybe it's Owl. What about Rue? Oh, that could be. Oh, I don't know now. It's a very vague peach cobbler. I definitely know <laughs> that is Tigger, and this is yeah. Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. But if you guys know in the comments, let me know. What are those supposed to be? <laughs> I don't know how much of the desserts I'm going to actually be able to eat. I am a little full. I did get seconds. Oh, yeah. I'll probably eat all of them. I'll try at least all of them. Yeah, we'll split them. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to try it. I'm excited for coffee, too. I love coffee. Sir Lancelot, your small bird. I think I'm going to dive into the hummingboard. So we're going to cut right down the center. Perfect. Look at that. And I'm going to ruin it, my side, by... <laughs> Bada boom. I feel like you gave me the bigger side. I'm gonna try the hummingboard cake. I don't like icing that much, so I'm gonna just get a bottom half. But there are pineapples in this, so it might be good. I ended up putting a little icing in my coffee, but it reminds me of Mrs. Doubtfire, where the mask falls into the tea. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Where, you know, Mrs. Doubtfire, look at it. How many uh, drops would you like, darling? Like, doesn't that look like it? It's yeah. so funny floating around yeah. like that. Now it's time for the Tigger tart. And I remember this being my favorite last time. It is a banana fill tart. And look at that on top. Nice little chocolate drizzle. I love this. This is so, so good. Now I think we are completely done. It's time to go back into the humid weather. So we were in here enjoying ourselves, drinking coffee and beers, eating fancy desserts and prime rib. But on the outside, it was hot, humid, and wet. And now we're gonna brave it again, just so we can enjoy Magic Kingdom. And it's totally worth it. And wow, I feel like we are in the park on a different day. Amazing what a lunch can do. Just give it some time and the rain should go away. And look at this. It's seriously, I feel like we just jumped to like next week. It looks totally different than when we went into the Crystal Palace. Now it looks like all the rides are back open again, blue skies. So we're gonna head on over to Big Thunder Mountain. On our way over to Big Thunder Mountain, look, we got some friends up there. Hi, friend. Hey, Hi. We loved it. It was great. Yeah, we love you. <laughs> And if you guys remember before, I was saying a lot of people usually end up going home and that leaves the parks kind of empty with low wait times. And that is proven to be right because Big Thunder Mountain is a 30 minute wait time. I knew it was gonna happen and I'm so excited. Never give up, right? Yeah. Look at that, 30 minutes. And it looks like it's just walking right on there. Yeah, let's go. Another really awesome thing to point out, Jackie, is we don't need to wear mask in line. So nice. No mask so in line. Nicer. It makes a huge difference. Yeah. Oh, and look at that view of Splash Mountain from here. Isn't that beautiful? Looks like we got front of the train here. Actually, I prefer the back on this ride. Yeah, me too. But today, beggars can't be choosers. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep my hat on this whole ride. I'm not gonna remove them. We're gonna see what happens. Now, I don't think I'll lose it. I know, I'd rather it be a bold one than a bald one. <laughs> oh boy!
Jackson. Oh, yeah. I think we made it. <laughs> we made it. We made it. We made it. That was absolutely amazing, and I kept my hat on the whole time. I'm really shocked by that, and I don't want to lose it because I already lost my other good hat that had my cow puncher badge on. But good news, they actually found it. Oh, it works. <laughs> That was so awesome. A couple of friends right there, so I had to stop and say hi. But I was telling you guys, they found my hat. It's at Disney Springs, so I have to go pick it up. And they sent me a really nice email with the description. Basically, I said, a very fedorable fedora with a cow puncher badge. And they replied back, and I'm sure it's like a generic one. They were like, we have found something that uh, fits your description. So I'm gonna go pick it up, but I wanna check to see if there's any more badges left. This is also my first time walking through a store here at Disney without wearing a mask on. So now I'm feeling like truly blessed. Oh, it doesn't look like I see any cow punchers. I do see a cow poke though, but no cow punchers. I think they're all gone. Oh yeah, right there. Check it out. A nice cow puncher badge. I love running into people in the park. So if I ever see you in the parks or if you ever see me, just say come up and say hi. I absolutely love it. I love chit-chatting, finding out where you're from, how your day is going, and I like giving out advice. Sometimes I feel like I can talk a lot and uh, I understand, you know, vacation time is very precious. So <laughs> like me, sometimes when I'm just leisurely walking around, uh, I always feel bad. Oh, hey, how are you? Hey, my family loves your video. Oh, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Now I think we're gonna move along, head on into Tomorrowland, check the wait times over there. Not too sure what we're gonna ride. Everything seems like it's just about an hour. And for the last ride of the night, we don't wanna really commit to that. You know, don't wanna commit. <laughs> also ran into Dylan, theme park obsession, oh, hey. and then Adam, Adam oh. the Woo. You know, I like doing that like, so quick and spontaneous without you guys knowing. Oh, it's great. <laughs> I see that you like almost, yeah, you almost got into an accident. <laughs> looks like we're gonna attempt a ride on Space Mountain. Hopefully the line's not too bad. Oh, it looks like it's backed up a little bit outside, but I think it's worth the wait. Looks like it's 25 minutes. I don't know if it's exactly 25 minutes because the line is out here, but we're willing to risk it. If you guys are familiar with the People Mover in my name, it says paging Mr. Morrow, Mr. Tom Morrow, and it says for me to contact Mr. Johnson in the control tower. A lot of people don't know this, but Mr. Johnson is in the control tower in Space Mountain. Right here it is. There is the control tower, and Mr. Johnson is in there patiently waiting. And soon, we're gonna be riding right there. I'm really liking the lighting in here, but I wanted to point out how awesome it is that you don't need to wear a mask, especially in lines like this. I mean, it's very crowded and there's tons of plexiglass still, and like just having that breathability, it's actually really relaxing. Looks like they just turned the lights on. Track power will be disconnected. Track will be immediately. Please stand clear of all mechanical equipment. <laughs> yeah, because it's exciting! It doesn't happen until it's talking. <laughs> Can we get a lights on ride on Space Mountain? Yes! Can we? <laughs> They did say, like they did like an announcement saying, please stay still. They're gonna resume the ride within the next 10 minutes, but the park closes in 10 minutes. So it's either we wait and we get to ride or we leave and maybe get on the people mover. I think we're gonna try to hold our ground. We're counting on you. Yeah, we're trapped. We're here. We're in it. We're in it. We're in it. There's no turning back now. <laughs> Looks like they said they're gonna turn the lights off soon. So we're gonna see.
looks like we're back in business. Too bad though, I really would have loved to ride this with the lights on. If you guys have ever rode with the lights on, let me know. Because it's something I gotta knock off my bucket list. Oh. Looks like we're loading up and I'm gonna be in row number one. But not that rocket. Not that rocket. <laughs> there she comes. That's the rocket we were looking for. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Here we go. No mask. Space Mountain. Couldn't be happier. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, look at the balloons coming in. <laughs> okay, it's gonna get dark. It's happening. The drop right here, right? The big drop. The big drop. The big drop. Oh, oh. That's a stop, not a drop. Ooh. I just understood you. Look at the lights. What happened to the lights? Oh, man. Where's the lights? Oh, there they are! <laughs> There's Mr. Johnson! Space Mountain was an excellent way to end the night. I had so much fun. We got to ride rides and it's been a great day. I'm just excited that we're able to be here. Mask on, mask off. Just be grateful that we can come to this wonderful place. And that's how I feel. I'm happy every single day and so blessed. And I just, I, you know, even today with the rain, I didn't let it get me down. I just kept on going about. We formulated a new plan and it all went perfect. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye! Now everybody is heading home for the night. Yep. A little bit sad, but it's a good feeling. It's a great big beautiful tomorrow. <laughs> Looks like we're back to the uh, closing down Magic Kingdom means an hour before you get home thing. Look at this. Holy moly. <laughs> the ferry boat is all the way over there and they're filling it I mean so we're gonna go down and then up and then down again and this is this is a very long line